exercise 1.4 question number 1 without actually performing the long division state whether the following rational numbers will have a terminating decimal expansion or a non terminating repeating decimal expansion so starting with the first first is 13 by 3125 So considering the denominator, which is three thousand one hundred twenty-five, this can be expressed as five into five into five into five, which means five to the power five. So since the denominator, denominator. is of the form 5 to the power m so by using theorem we can say this decimal expansion is terminating hence the decimal expansion of 13 by 3125 is terminating the second part second is 17 by 8 so again considering the denominator which is 8 8 can be expressed as 2 into 2 into 2 or 2 to the power 3 again using the theorem the denominator is of the form 2 to the power m hence the decimal expansion of 17 by 8 is terminating now third third is 64 by 455 64 by 455 considering the denominator 455 can be expressed as 5 into 7 into 13 here we can see the denominator is not in the form of 2 to the power m cross 5 to the power n so again by using theorem we can say this decimal expansion is non terminating repeating since the denominator denominator is not in the form of in the form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n and it also contains 7 and 13 as its factor hence its decimal expansion expansion will be 
non terminating repeating fourth part fourth is 15 by 1600 now considering the denominator part which is 1600 which can be expressed as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 Into two, into two, into five into five, or two to the power six into five to the power two. Now, since the denominator is in the form of Two to the power m into five to the power n. So by using the theorem, we can say the decimal expansion of Fifteen by one thousand six hundred is terminating. Terminating. Now the fifth part. Fifth is twenty-nine by three forty-three. Again, considering the Denominator, which is three forty three. Three forty three can be expressed as seven into seven into seven, or seven to the power three. Now, since the denominator, denominator. is not in the form of in the form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n and it has 7 as its factor hence the decimal expansion of 29 by 343 is non terminating repeating Now, sixth, sixth is twenty-three by two to the power three into five to the power two. Twenty-three divided by two to the power three into five to the power two. Here we can see the denominator is in the form of two to the power m into five to the power n. Hence, this decimal expansion is terminating. Since the denominator. is in the form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n hence 
the decimal expansion of 23 divided by 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2 is terminating now seventh seventh is 129 divided by 2 to the power 2 5 to the power 7 and 7 to the power 5 129 by 2 to the power 2 5 to the power 7 into 7 to the power 5 again using the theorem since the denominator is not in the form of 2 to the power m into 5 to the power n and it also has 7 as its factor hence the decimal expansion of 129 by 2 to the power 2 5 to the power 7 into 7 to the power 5 is non terminating repeating eighth eighth is six by fifteen six by fifteen this can also be expressed as 2 into 3 by 3 into 5 or 2 by 5. Now, considering the denominator, we can observe the denominator is in the form of 5 to the power m. So, since the denominator is in the form of phi to the power n hence the decimal expansion of 6 by 15 is terminating now the ninth part ninth is 35 by 50 35 by 50 this can also be written as 7 into 5 by 10 into 5 or 7 by 10 now considering the denominator 10 can also be written as 2 into 5 again using the theorem since the denominator is 
copies of the form two to the power m into five to the power n. Hence, the decimal expansion of thirty five by fifty is terminating. Tenth part, tenth is seventy seven by two hundred ten. Seventy seven by two hundred ten. This can also be expressed as eleven into seven divided by thirty into seven or eleven by thirty. Considering the denominator which is thirty, thirty can be expressed as two into three into five. Now, since the denominator is not in the form of two to the power m into five to the power n, and also has three as its factor. Hence, the decimal expansion. Of seventy seven by two hundred ten is non terminating repeating.